Okay, so there's a there's a bunch of videos on YouTube with the Tone Master, and I'm kind of like I'm like a year late, two years late. What year is it? I don't know what year it is anymore. Uh, the original Tone Masters, I think they came out in 2019. This one came out in 2020. We're now in 2021. So I'm a late adopter, but um, I was always curious to try them. I just never got a chance. And then with COVID and the lockdowns and stuff, I couldn't go out and try one. So finally got one. And uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And please subscribe and, and like the video if you do like the video. This is going to be a bit of a different video. This isn't going to be like a formal, uh, you know, demo and review. It's just going to be me playing with the amp and setting up this, the sounds that I like and showing you how I do it. And that's it. That's the whole idea. I haven't scripted anything. Usually I script these videos out pretty detailed. But um, yeah, I didn't plan anything. So we're just going to go through it. I've got my Telecaster here. This is a Pro 2, American Pro 2 in dark night finish. God, it looks amazing on this camera. I just recently changed my camera and my lens. Holy crap, everything looks amazing. This is my B-roll camera, which was my original camera, and now it looks like crap. So, technical stuff out of the way. Let's, it's it's on standby right now. And if you don't know anything about the Tone Master amps, don't watch this video, I'm not gonna help you. This is a, a digital, they call it digital modeling but it's solid state. I don't know all the technical stuff. I just, I like things. And uh, there you go. That's 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 how detailed I get about it. Anyways, I'm warming up the circuit board right now. I don't know why there's a standby on here. It's just maybe because they wanted to keep it similar to uh, the original. I've never played the original and uh, I don't even know if it came in a blonde. And speaking of blonde, uh, I don't know what the title is of this video yet, but um, it might be some kind of blonde reference and it's all in tribute to Rod Stewart, so don't don't take it the wrong way. I asked my wife, I'm like, if I say Fender Blonde kind of joke for the, for the title, is that okay? She's like, no. I'm like, there, that's the perfect title then. That's good. You got the attention. Here we go. Let's turn it on. Turn it off standby. The power switch is on the back, which is pretty normal. Uh, what do I got plugged in here? The reason I'm not showing my pedal board is uh, that. I'm not wearing socks or shoes. Also, I don't have a third camera, so... Uh, right now, so it's got an attenuator. That's the big deal. I've got it set to uh, the second level up, 0.5 watt, and that's pretty loud in here. I'm in a small room. It's like 8 by 10. No, 8 by 12. Let's just riff through something here that I'm just going to make up on the spot. That's 0.5. Let's just, I'm going to cycle through the, uh, the attenuator just so you can hear the volume difference and that's the only time I'm going to touch it. I'm going to leave it at 0.5 for this video because I find that's, that's what I like. Um, if I do crank up the amp though, the cool thing is you can crank up the volume. There is no, there's only one volume control on this and I'm going through, uh, I'm all over the place on this video by the way and that's, that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do it. There's a, a normal channel and a vibrato channel. The vibrato channel, I'm like, oh, I don't want to use that. But that's the one that gives you reverb. And so that's the one I'm using. Where's the camera? You're right there. Here we go. Um, I'm not going to use the normal channel. I don't like normal things. Why am I going to use normal stuff? Vibrato. There we go. And it uh, comes with a foot switch, so you can control it with that. So what, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, let's cycle through. Just, just for a volume test. This is probably going to peak out the... Uh, peek out the, uh, the mics, but uh, here's, what's that, 0.1 watt? I'll put it on the screen. I'll put the levels on the screen what they are. So this is number two. Let's start that again. There's going to be no editing in this video. No editing. It's going to be one take. No editing. There's going to be no editing in this video. No editing. Here we go. Okay, this is the lowest. Except I'll edit this part right now. There. Uh, second one. Third. Fourth. Getting up there. Starting to hurt my ears. Fifth. Woo. How's that? And the last one. You can see it peaking up there. Uh, that's it. 
Uh, I've got it mic'd up with uh, a Sennheiser E609 that I, I just got recently. You can check. I'll put a, a link in the cards. Uh, you can check out that video about that microphone. Look at that. So that's it. That's the that's the video. I'm just gonna tell you what I got dialed in for my tones for my clean tone. So this is my clean. Hopefully that can zoom in. I don't know if that's gonna be in focus. Anyways, let me take a picture of what it is. Just muted my uh, pedal board. Here's my clean tone settings. Okay, that's my clean tone settings. And that's what I like. Now one cool thing I will show you. You can get breakup on this amp and what you do is, let's say, uh, I don't know if I can do it at this level. I'm going to definitely do it at the, the first setting on the attenuator. Crank up the volume. I can turn that up. I'll go next level up. turned on as well that's cool so that's you can do overdrive with the amp built in that's awesome I think that's really cool you don't need to use pedals if you don't want to you can just crank up the volume and turn turn down the attenuator so let's bring it back to where I was you can also do pedals um, I'm not gonna say the pedals sound better or worse they're just different. I also mentioned this thing is stock. It has a uh, digital firmware you can update, but I left it as is off the shelf. I don't even plan to change it. Um, I'll show you a close up. I'll try to capture it there. They, they hide the USB port. It's not easy to find. I was like, where the hell is this thing? I, you take a look on the back, they're like, it's got a USB port to do the firmware update, and I couldn't find it. So, <laughs> dear God. Okay, let's try a pedal. Let's try some, uh, let's just try a pedal in here. This is a Sweet Baby Overdrive. Usually I also run a Tube Screamer with that, so let's try that now. So, Tube Screamer and Joy Owen. Graphics are going to go right there. Super overdrive. Not usually when I play it, the super overdrive. I I find it only works well with certain certain amps and certain guitars. I'm just going to do the telly for this video. Let's try some really clean stuff. So we'll turn uh, turn it up there. Put up the reverb up way higher. Actually, I'll do a reverb example here. Some one right now. A zero. Sorry. I'll turn up to like three. I 
I like it around three, three and a half, maybe. So usually I keep it under four, between two and four, somewhere. Mm. make one mistake otherwise you get copyright also I don't get copyright because I'm not that good that's the key that's the key to not get copyright oh it also has an XLR out on the back I haven't tried it maybe one day I'm not gonna do it in this video people have done it it's you know it's gonna sound like an XLR out and it's a simulated amp the one thing, you know what I might do in the future, I might do a future video, so apparently for this amp, I, re I read the specs on it, and uh, it says the, uh, the simulated out, uh, there's two, two IRs, and I can't remember exactly how they did it, but maybe one of them is uh, an SM57, and the other is a Sennheiser MD421, 421 I think. I don't know if they're combined, or if it's separate, or, or what they did, but I'm like, I have both those mics, so that's perfect, I just got the M. MD421 in another video that I mentioned already. I'm just gonna go put it there. And uh, so yeah, I could totally do another video just comparing that. The capture, I'm sure there's a room sound they captured and everything. Actually, they have a really cool video, Fender. If you go check out Fender's site, uh, it's like two years old. But they did a video all about this amp, talking about the specs and how it's, it's a computer. It's got like quad core, they didn't say the name of the processor. Let's just say it's a quad core, uh, Let's just say it's a Pentium 2 350 or something with 64 megs of RAM. There we go. You gotta stay dehydrated, right? Coffee dehydrates, just so you know. You know what? I think, um... I like, I like the amp, uh, I will do a comparison video for sure in the future. I have a solid state Fender Deluxe 85, I have, uh, I have this uh, Princeton Reverb behind me that's hiding, it's been in other videos. That's a tube amp and now I've got the digital modeler solid state combo, whatever you call it. And I, I will do comparison all three, even though they're not the same speakers, they're not the same, some people like to see those things. So. I think I've covered everything I want to talk about today in this video, and uh, if you want to get it, I bought mine at Long McQuaid in Ottawa, but I'll have links in uh, the description if you want to get it, if you're in the States or if you're in Europe, I'll have uh, Toman links, and uh, Sweetwater links, and Amazon links, depends where you are. People ask me all the time, like, how much is that thing? And I'm always like, let me Google that for you, but I'm like, I can't answer because I don't know where you are. For me in Canada, this one is, uh, what is it, $11.99? So in the States, I think it's, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna say the price because they're, they're changing so much right now. The prices keep going up. Um, and if, if anybody else was curious, I don't have the AC-10 anymore. I traded that in, I, I sorry, I sold it, I guess, trade in, sell it to pay for this. So 
There we go. I'm Fender. Only a fa I'm Fender, official Fender fan fanatic. Fender fanboy. Totally, totally fan. That's all I've got here, except one PRS. I hope this video is in focus. Um, there we go. A bit of a rambling kind of amp tone demo thing, you know. Thought I'd change it up, have some fun. And play guitar. That's the whole point. I'm having fun and I'm playing guitar. And that's the whole point of this channel. And if you're new here again, I don't know how you'd be new here again. You can only be new here once. But what I mean is, again, if you're new here, it's all about the words. Uh, subscribe if you do like my channel and click a like and share this video. All right, that's going to do it. As always, play guitar and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.